So, <clears throat> the rain sucks. on guys welcome back to the shed i'm josh and this is going to be our seventh life change video in our 30 life changes in 30 days challenge and today is a video that i've been dreading i've been putting it off since the beginning it's something i knew i wanted to do but it's something that i've tried before and it's really hard yet really beneficial and it feels great but it sucks at the same time and that is getting up at 4 4 a.m every day um, I did this before after having uh, done some research and watching a couple of podcasts involving Jocko Willink. Uh, if you haven't heard of him before, he is a Navy SEAL who's sort of turned his experiences and his education from being in the service into a full-on motivational slash corporate training system where he basically uh, takes his, his concept of, uh, oh, it sucks, tough, deal with it, figure it out make your life work um, and he applies it to you know everyday common situations uh, his Instagram page if you go to it is actually pretty funny it's basically him posting a picture of his watch every morning at 4 a.m. when he gets up and goes to the gym um, and he's a little intense uh, he's actually a lot intense um, and he might not be your cup of tea but I I did pick up one very sort of interesting fact from him and it was how much he is able to get done by getting up at four in the morning, um, how much extra productivity it adds to his day and how much he recommends it to pretty much everybody that he speaks to. And I have also witnessed several other people that I follow online uh, from Casey Neistat to Joe Rogan, to all, all different types of people sort of across the board have either tried or stuck with this method of getting up between four and 4.30 in the morning. And it just, it seems to have a huge impact in a positive direction in their lives. Um, I did this myself for about a week and a half, uh, actually it might have only been a week, uh, about six months ago. Um, no, I take that back, it was right after my son was born, oddly, so it was about four months ago. And I got up every day between 4 and 4.30, I got changed, I went to the gym, I worked out, and I was basically walking out of the gym as the sun was rising, having already woken up, drank a pre-workout, drank a protein shake, and gotten my full workout at the gym in. And I was on my way home to shower and get dressed for work before my wife even woke up. So that was actually super enjoyable. The hardest part, though, is not hitting the snooze button. And I have a really bad habit of just letting myself sleep in. It's actually been really great since I've been living with my wife, since we got married, because she has great work ethic. She can get up, you know, if she knows she has to go to work, she just wakes up, like boom, in the morning, no problem. Um, I mean, not no problem, but like she makes it happen. She gets out of bed. I, ever since high school, have had this problem where I'll just like, I'll wake up and I'll basically think about my day for a second and I just kind of go, hmm. No, I don't feel it. And I just hit snooze and I go back to sleep and the whole day goes by. I mean, I don't like to sleep in, but I will screw my whole morning up and wake up at like 8 a.m., which is usually much later than I normally do. And it's certainly too late to like go to school if you're in high school or even if you're in college most of the time. And uh, it's not when I leave for work. I usually leave the house for work. My wife and I both leave the house for work at 6 a.m. Uh, and she goes and drops the baby off at her mother's house and then heads into the office. And I, who have the slightly longer commute, sort of like zip my way through Massachusetts towards my office. And, uh, and that's if I'm not on the road. If I'm on the road, I'm getting up at like 3, 4 in the morning anyways to get to the airport to catch my flight. So I'm, I know I can do it as long as I have a reason to. The problem is my own motivation in the past hasn't been a good enough reason to. I... I want to do it, I set my alarm, I set three alarms, I'll set one at like 4, 4.15 and 4.30 and I'll just snooze right through all of them and I'll hit snooze every five minutes until 5.30 in the morning when I realize I have to wake up. Um, so I'm really not good about it, but I really want to do it because in the past when I have, it's been really great and uh, I, I hope this time I can make it work. I really feel like if I can get through 30 days of it, I can stick with it. I mean, I the first two or three days last time I tried it, I was great, I was fine, I was happy to be up. Uh, and then slowly it got worse and worse every day. And by the sixth or seventh day, I just couldn't do it anymore. I wasn't getting out of bed. I was hitting snooze and I was getting up at 5.30, 6 in the morning. So that's the change for this week, getting up at four in the morning. Um, I'm gonna start with four in the morning and I'm really gonna try. The only issue is my son's not quite sleeping through the night yet. And so if he decides to wake up at like 3 a.m. for his middle of the night feeding 
and me and my wife kind of like tag team that. She'll grab him and start changing him. I'll get a bottle ready. She'll pass him off to me. I'll feed him and then I'll put him back in the crib and we go back to sleep. Usually we can get that done in about 15, 20 minutes. But to complete, to, to wake completely up at 3 in the morning and then go through that and then you're back in bed by like 3.20 and then you may be back asleep by 3.30 but you're not really asleep. Um, I, I mean, it depends on how much you wake up versus how much time it takes you to get back to sleep. But that can really screw up your sleeping patterns. And to then have to get up like 40 minutes after that at four in the morning might be really tough. So I might have to bump it out to 4.30, but I'm gonna start with four and see how it goes. And uh, that's the change for today. 30 days of waking up at 4 a.m., hopefully more than 30 days if I can make it work. And uh, hopefully that will allow me to fit in even more of these changes into my day as it'll be adding an hour and a half to my morning of, you know, whether it be alone time, just me, or if my wife plans on joining me in this, I don't know why she would want to, but maybe she will. Um, so it should add more time for productivity and more of these changes and improvements in my day. So thanks for checking this video out, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've been enjoying these videos so far, and I hope you're interested in checking out the rest of this series as well as any other videos that I put in, uh, put up on my page going forward. Uh, if you have time, like, comment, and subscribe down below. That really helps me grow my page. If I can get to 100 subscribers, I can actually get a URL for this page, which makes it much easier to share and get more followers, and I can really get more people to uh, check these videos out and hopefully get more feedback and continue to grow and improve and all that good stuff. So thanks for checking this video out, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next challenge.